Right, next tutorial. Escape, tutorials, well, and we'll uh, go to crafting they are, tutorial. The NPCs, they are actually in gravity, so if you fly, or fly around, they will be attached to your ship, so... It's kind of like if you have oh, right. a base on the ship. Okay. Okay, right, so here we go for the crafting tutorial. This will explain StarMade's crafting and factory system. Uh, crafting is uh, crafting in StarMade is based on a consistent system. Every craftable element has an amount of other elements it is made from. These other elements again have other elements they are made off and so forth. The system looks like a tree. Consistent trees do not loop, so an element, the tree's root, is never in any of the branches of its own tree. The other system is just using is using recipes. Recipes determine fixed product lines. For example, ten of any ore capsule makes a meta mesh, metal mesh. A meta mesh. <gasps> oh my <What>? god. <coughs> meta meshes confirmed. No, I'm only joking, guys. It's obviously a typo. So metal mesh. But enough theory. Enough meta. Here is enough. Here is how to start with exactly nothing. Your initial personal power beam. Wow. Starmade's raw resources are in two groups, crystal shards and ore. Each planet plate has two random resources, while the resources on asteroids are set per type. You'll find different types of asteroids depending on the distance of the sector to a sun. Nice. To start, collect some raw ore by salvaging some resources with ship or as astronaut. Then open your, cra your inventory with I and then press on craft capsule. This will open your personal capsule factory. You can also craft a block that does the same thing, more efficient than your personal crafting. Put one type of ore or shards in and leave the second slot empty. After a time, you will be getting capsules. Place those in your inventory. You can click on the production button to check which raw resource will produce which capsule. After you've made some capsules, click on the micro button in your inventory and place them there. You'll need 10 capsules of any type to produce either metal mesh or circuits. Those two are the base ingredients for most of the blocks in StarMade. When you have 20 metal meshes or circuits, press on Craft Micro to craft your first macro factory. Macro factory makes every craftable block in the game. After you've placed a macro factory, you'll see it needs power to function. You can provide that power by shooting it with your personal power supply beam, or if you have them, placing down power recharge blocks. If you don't have any, it should be your first focus to craft in the factory. Ooh, look at this. An image opened. Could probably do with a background so you could see the arrows better. That's all I'll oh, say yeah. for that straight away. Um, maybe even if it was just slightly transparent, but you know, you, that's, yeah, uh, that's sucking yeah, eggs in it. Yeah, um, basically took the, the thing from the folder. <laughs> Well, actually, saying that though, if you just used a white arrow, <laughs> that would also <laughs> yeah, fix it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, open the macro factory with R and click on change production. You can use the filter and, for example, power to quickly find power modules. If you chose the power recharge module, you can now click on the graph to see exactly what you need for making it. Important! Hey look, it's got a thing, like I was talking about. <laughs> this one's got one. So, important! The factory will only do the last step of the graph. Every step below, that will require its own factory. In this example, the only thing this factory will consume is metal mesh and active Varat processor, for which you will need to produce a separate factory or change the production on this one. You can, of course, craft multiple factories and do it all at the same time. Furthermore, you are able to link factories. Press C on the factory you want to be able to take the needed materials out of the other factories and press V on those. A factory will take ingredients needed from all the factories that are connected to it. This basically enables you to rebuild a whole crafting tree. Then you can put in raw resources in the bottom and get the high level product at the top. This ends the crafting tutorial. Thanks for reading, and thanks for playing Star Maid! Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we are planning on adding in filters. I think Scheme was talking with you about that the other day. I know it's not covered in this tutorial, yeah. but uh, that will be happening, so you won't have items all yeah. stacking up at the end. Yeah, That's but amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it is. It is. It, it is, is a good tutorial. A, I love that. I like, no, tutorial. no, I like that. 
Yeah, but that's covered everything, though. Everything that I did in my first I, video is in there. You know? It can't like, cover all the future um, content, though. That was my point. Yeah, that's true. So, Reginald needs to be up front, I think. That's pretty... Uh, where is it? Uh...